Hi, my name is Jared Boyd. Uh, my wife Mackenzie and I have been coming to River Glen for uh, about a year now. Um, and I've been you know, fortunate enough to uh, serve in Unite Ministry. So I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I, uh, I was kind of pushed into you know, kind of going to church every Sunday. It wasn't really a priority for me. Um, it wasn't something that I, I necessarily wanted to do. There were Sundays where I you know, kind of struggled getting up to go to church, but it was always you know, 9.30 BIS, button seat. Um, it wasn't until I was in high school where I actually you know, made that step forward. Um, it was through the Young Life Ministry over at Kettle Moraine that um, I really found the gospel message. Uh, I heard it presented to me like I'd never heard it uh, in any church service before. Um, and you know, through the years, I, I started to make that faith my own. And I, I went along that journey, and um, I kind of never looked back. You know, it's been one of the greatest decisions of my life to call Jesus my own. And, um, take that step forward and today um, I get to you know serve with alongside my my wife and, and numerous leaders here in the church and I found a, a family and um, uh, others around me that can support me and love me through any season of life so baptism for me was um, something that I've I've always kind of thought I'd get around to um, I was under the impression that I was baptized as a child. Um, and when I was you know, going through the, the leader vetting process, the leader interview process with my wife and, and Garrett in his office, um, he asked us the question of baptism. And I kind of responded you know, the same way that I just said of, um, I'll get around to it. You know, it's something that you know, I was baptized as a child, but you know, I'll make it my own as an adult. Don't, you know, I'll get to that. And, my wife, you know, lovingly called out in that moment and said, you were not baptized as a child. Uh, I just had lunch with your mom today and found out you were not, <laughs> uh, which was kind of, kind of not shattering, but at the same time, kind of shattering. Uh, just, oh, all right, this might be important for me to really push up uh, the timelines. So after that meeting with Garrett, um, it was kind of on my heart. And it was something that my wife kept kind of bringing up. You know, do you, do you want to get baptized? You know, when do you want to get baptized? And I kind of, um, you know, pushed aside. Uh, for weeks, I didn't think about it. It, it. About three weeks after the last time that I thought about it, it was about 4 a.m. and I, I woke up out of dead sleep, which does not happen to me at all. Um, and the first thought, it was like I was waking up out of a dream and my first thought was that dream, but it wasn't the dream, it was, I need to get baptized. I wasn't dreaming about it, I hadn't thought about it, I didn't have any conversations about it, and it was just on my heart. And I knew in that moment, I need to take this step. I need to do this. And the next day, my wife and I, we were on a walk, and I decided to share that with her, of kind of an accountability partner to walk alongside that with me and just hold me accountable to making that step towards getting baptized and, and declaring that to everyone. So the next time that I had the opportunity to get baptized um, was at Unite. Garrett said, hey guys, we left the, the baptism pool filled. Um, we're gonna kind of give students the opportunity if they feel led to, to get baptized tonight. And emotions started flooding into me as I heard that you know, we had about eight or nine kids to get baptized. And I looked at my wife and she said, you know, she just kind of smiled and said, do you wanna get baptized? And I said, yeah. I 100% want to, and I remember fighting back tears and um, asking, you know, if if she would want to baptize me. And um, it was probably one of the the <laughs> best moments that her and I have shared together. Um, it's something that her and I can look back and you know say that she was part of my baptism, my my decision to publicly declare that I am a follower of Jesus. And she got to be in that pool alongside me and, and pull me out of that water and, and give me a hug right after. So when I think of you know my purpose after committing my life to Jesus, I mean, it's, it's not al always gonna be roses, right? It's, he, he doesn't promise that, but he promises to walk alongside us. Um, and today, I think, you know, I look at after my baptism, um, it's really kind of 
woken me up to my purpose and nothing else, all, everything else is just noise, you know, it's, you know, it's nothing materialistic that can fill this heart at all. Don't let a day go by. Take that step. Uh, I would encourage you when you feel that emotion, it's, it's God saying to you, I, I want you to come home. I want this relationship with you um, and dive in, dive in.